Hi, so today's video is going to be a little different. Today we're going to be actually building a model of this construction. So this question that was sent to me, it says the shape below has reached the fourth row of construction. How many more cubes would be needed if the fifth and sixth rows are added at the base of the shape? Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I am going to color each row of blocks a different color just so that you could see them easier okay and then we're going to be building this model all right for you to see exactly how many blocks are in each row and then we'll write down the pattern as we go along and we are going to figure out the how many blocks will be needed for the fifth row and for the sixth row without building it okay without adding more blocks physically all right, and then we'll add the number of blocks in the fifth and sixth row and answer our question. Okay, all right, so let's start coloring these blocks. Okay, so now that I've colored each row a different color, we're going to build this model. Okay, so in row 1, I have one block. Okay, one blue block. So, this is my one blue block here. Okay, now when we're starting our pattern, we're going to start with what was before this one block. There was none. Alright, so we're going to start with zero. Okay, so when we add this one block now, our next, our row, which is this one here, is going to be that zero plus this one block that I'm going to add, which will give me one block. Okay, now the second row. We are seeing one, two blocks. All right, so let's get those two blocks. Two blocks. Now, if I put these two blocks here, all right, and try to put this block on top, right, so that we have this shape, so that we have this shape here. Now, our block is not going to stay by itself, okay? It's just going to drop into that spot there. All right, so what is actually keeping this block above these two blocks is a third one. So this blue block is on top of one other block on the second row. And then these two blocks here are added to the sides. All right, so let's see. Do we have that there? Yes, we do. Okay, just straighten this one a little bit. Okay, so we have that. All right, now do you notice that it is not just two blocks? It is actually this one plus three blocks. Okay, so let's write that. So it is actually one block that we added at the bottom and plus these two blocks that we're seeing okay and that gave us our three blocks now let's look at the other one we are seeing one two three red blocks so let's get those three red blocks now again these three red blocks are not placed in front of the yellow blocks all right, the yellow blocks are actually above the red blocks. So we would need something underneath these red yellow blocks to be above the red blocks. So what we need are one, two, three more blocks to be able to have this at a height. So let's get three more red blocks. And 
put them at the bottom of the yellow ones. Okay, so now we have our yellow blocks on a height, and now we can add in these three blocks that we're seeing. Okay, so it looks like the picture. All right, one blue block at the top, the two yellow blocks that we're seeing, and the three red ones. Okay, now let's write our pattern. How many blocks did we add at the bottom that were hidden? Three blocks, right? So let's write that three blocks here. And so and what we are seeing, what we are seeing at the front is another row is another three blocks. Okay? So now we have three plus three, which give us six. So in all we have one, two, three, four, five, six red blocks in the first, second, third row, okay? Now let's look at the fourth row. We are seeing four green blocks. So that's what we're seeing. And again, the red blocks are above the green blocks. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six more green blocks to be able to have this at a height. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's put this on a height. So that's one block, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Okay, so we have our six blocks there. And let's put the four blocks that we're seeing in the picture. So, I'm hoping the students now understand what is exactly in that picture, okay? It's not just the blocks that we're seeing, they are blocks underneath the rows on top. Alright, so we have, and if we look at the model compared to the picture, right, we are seeing the one, two, three, four, four blocks the three blocks, two blocks, and one block on top. But we know that there are other blocks underneath supporting the ones that we're seeing. Okay? So let's write a pattern for this. So how many blocks are hidden? Well, the blocks that are hidden is what is underneath these red blocks here. Okay? So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six plus the four that we are seeing. One, two, three, four. This gives us a total of ten blocks. All right, now let's look at what's happening. We started off with zero blocks and we added one, and then we took that one and we added two. Okay. That's the two that we're seeing, and it gave us three. So our second row of yellow blocks is actually three blocks here. Then we took those three blocks, and we added another three, which is the ones we're seeing. And then we had six blocks in total for the red blocks. And then in the fourth row, we added those six blocks to support the six that was there before, plus the 4 that we're seeing, which is 10. So are you seeing a pattern here being formed? 1, 2, 3, 4. Look at this pattern here. This is the number from before, right? The 0, the 1, the total of the blocks before and the row before, the 3, the 6. Okay, so can we guess what this number here is going to be? Yeah, it's going to be the number of blocks in the row before. So in the fourth row, we have 10 blocks. So our fifth row is going to start with those 10 hidden blocks.
to support this layer okay and then look at this pattern here one two three four five okay five blocks so our total and our fifth row is going to be 15 blocks okay so that's our fifth row can you guess what our sixth row is going to be right the fifth row all the blocks in the fifth row that will be hidden okay that's 15 plus if we continue our pattern it's going to be six all right so 15 plus six is going to give us 21 blocks in the sixth row okay so 15 plus 21 so let's answer our question how many more cubes would be needed if the fifth and sixth rows are added so how many more cubes if the fifth and sixth rows are added it's the 15 plus the 21 to give us our total of 5 plus 1 is 6 2 plus 1 is 3 so 36 blocks well cubes okay so they call it cubes here so 36 cubes all right is your answer